Ladies and gentlemen, hello to you, the seasoned few. You know exactly what we came here to do, and if you don't, let me tell you, RPG style, character progression, fantasy, sports style betting, in the most electrifying four corners known to mankind, that's right baby, pro wrestling. RPG style character progression. That means you got to get in the comment section and play the role if you want to play the game. If you want to know how this place goes down, if you don't know anything about Dungeons and Dragons, if you don't know anything about board games and, and RPG games and, and, and Dungeons and Dragons style gameplay, well, here tonight, man, the board is the wrestling ring. You create your own character, or I'll create one for you. Luchador, powerhouse, technician, you you pick your style, you pick your class, all your attributes are based on your comments, that's right guys, it's not necessarily, you know, you can buy all your points here, there's a lot of people that of course make very generous donations to the Solo Season Universal Cash App that get themselves a serious boost to their character, but let me tell you something. The most boosted man in the universe. The most boosted man in the universe gets his chance at the title tonight. Will it be his first time putting his hands on the SSU title and keeping it? Good God, man. Speaking of first time, do you remember your first time? Vipiro! Vipiro san! Vipiro! The luchador! Coming in, making his debut. His comments have been crazy. You've seen the promos cut. You've seen the letters to management. You've seen the contract. Ladies and gentlemen, the crowd oohs and awes as Vipiero, Vipiero is coming to the ring now. Haciendo, Haciendo. There's nowhere to go but up from here. Apuraki, and I hope you are too. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Vipiero making his appearance here tonight in a triple threat UFO title match, knowing that the cruiser waits, knowing that the hybrid heavyweight division isn't stacked with a lot of characters. He's going to have to make his choice of planet tonight. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about everything that goes on in the SSU. We talked about the RPG style character progression. We talked about how you got to get in the comment section, play the role in the comments. Make promos as your character if you want to play the game. Fantasy, sports style betting. That means you got to bet on your favorite character. Who you think is going to win every single match is a chance for you to win points for your character or possibly win points for your favorite character. It doesn't have to be your character. I see 100 and something views on these videos, 10 likes, and we are out there enjoying life. I hope everyone gets in the comments and tells their story and tells their favorite current. Make us proud, boys. There it is. You hear the you hear the talents in the comments. You hear the talents making their presence known. UFO title gives you a boost. Now again, everything like Dungeons and Dragons, so every piece of the universe is built upon that premise. You can get weapons in a sense. You can get items that bless you. You can get items. There it is, man. There it is. People in the comments having a great time making it happen. This is the truth. This is the truth, and the truth is, I sound damn good. Shout out Jakai. Shout out to Vipiro Lucha. First time making his match tonight. J Wall in the bell then. The big green belt. Now again, guys, let me explain something to Vampiro. He's going to make a choice of his planet right here tonight. The UFO title gives your character 100% boost to aerial stats. That's right. So if you're doing jumping drop kicks, if you're coming off the top rope, if you're a high flyer, this is the belt you want as it gives you 100% boost to your aerial attack. 
interplanetary title held by Jakai gives your planet a boost. Your entire planet gets a boost when it comes down to the interplanetary title. So that planet right now is the Purple Wolf. So if you're from the Purple Wolf, congratulations and say thank you to Jakai as he's the one who put you in a position to win the interplanetary title, giving his entire planet a boost. Now again, the most prestigious title here is the SSU Universal title. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But the next title in line is the tag team titles. Let's talk about the tag team titles. Those give you a boost if your partner is with you. That's right, guys. The universe may seem complicated. Well, get your education up, okay? Pay attention. Because if you can put it all together, if you can get your comments, if you can get a belt, if you can get your girlfriend or your sister or your or your lady cousin to come on over here and earn that ladies triple crown title, you will also get a boost for your team. That's right. So the ladies triple crown title gives whatever team that lady manages currently held by Victoria, who, of course, is part of the Wolf Pack. So let's do the math. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha just got hit with a major drop kick. Lucha, Lucha, Lucha just got hit with a drop kick. Good God, man. Oh, yeah, we're going to watch my man Nobu, the champion here, just looking and praying that he can get in on some of the action, and he does by grabbing the nape of the neck. Vampiro sub by Piero. Somehow able to get... Oh, and he distracts for a sunset flip kick to the face. Vipiro's on fire right now. He's not willing to go without a fight. Butterfly gut buster to the knee. Now, again, let's do the math. I got a little distracted by what was happening in the ring, and I got to tell my man Vipiro what's going on with the planets, the belts, and everyone out there in the universe, what's going on here in the Solo Season universe and how the algorithm works. Beautiful reversal coming out of Ebola there. Man, I can't even get it out. UFO title, boost to 100%. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, it's a lucha fight. It's a lucha fight. It's These guys are jumping all over the place. 100% boost to aerial stat to my man Ebola's Zaire Gaming. Let's talk about interplanetary title, giving you a boost to the Purple Wolf planet right now. Ladies triple crown title. Oh, right on the ladder. Oh my God. Right on the ladder. Psycho Nobu may be dead. Nobu may be dead. Oh, Vipiro. Oh, he taunted us there a little bit. Taunted us a little bit there. A little back and forth with him and the champion. A little back and forth with him and the champion. Psycho Nobu getting the better of it. Or did he bridge over suplex? Oh, beautiful save from Vipiro. And right now, the champion stacking bodies looking clean. This is good business. Again, ladies triple crown title gives a boost. I keep getting so distracted because it's just too much action going on in the ring. So much action going on in the comments. The longest reigning SSU champion is here. The, oh, and another, another, another stomp. And my man Ebola Zaire Gaming is no selling those stomps. He's doing backflips, landing right on his feet, almost countering them by doing a backflip. And he did a front sunset flip to the concrete. Good God, man, Nobu's dead. It's an Extreme Rules match. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Crossbody. Vipiro comes off the top. Suicide crossbody, and he's going to the concrete. The champion is down. Vipiro telling Nobu to shut your mouth. Shut your mouth, Nobu. And he didn't shut it, so he shut it for him. Vipiro's on fire. All right, guys, let's slow it down and do the math. Let's slow it down and do the math. All right. Ladies, triple crown title held by Victoria, part of the Purple Wolf. Oh, right on the concrete. Ladies and gentlemen, Victoria, Purple Wolf Planet getting a boost. So interplanetary title giving a boost to the Purple Wolf Planet. And, of course, the Purple Wolf group. Oh, that's a powerbomb on this. Oh, that's a perfect powerbomb on this. <laughs> Vipiro's dead. Vipiro is dead. <clears throat> Nobu giving a great display of strength right there. Oh, he reversed it. Oh, these guys are amazing. 
He reversed the jumping guillotine attempt by ducking underneath, and these guys are getting busy like nobody's business. This is luchador stuff here. This is the most realistic sliders you're going to get. Oh, my God. Big type Piero fighting back with some chops and a super kick. Chops and a super go oh, and a sling blade. Sling blade using the ladder to get a little bit more height on that drop kick. Good God, man. Like you give a damn. <sighs> It's his bad business. Body lock toss over, and that drop kick gets dodged. Psycho Nobu's getting wise to Ebola's BS. Trying to sneak up behind everybody with that drop kick. Now, again, do the math. Purple Wolf Planet is super boosted right now. Jakai is super boosted right now with that Patreon boost. Cash App boost. It's big business. Oh, the one winged angel there really trying to put away. Saikyo Nobu with a move made famous by one of the indie style legends there. Get in the comment section. 10 points to anybody who knows who made the... Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That was awesome. The cameraman was able to zoom in directly on what asked... Oh, my God, what the hell is Nobu doing? Suicide dive puts this guy in a good position to win. Kenny Omed. Kenny, uh, there it is, man. Easy money. Ten points for my man Dubs. Now, again, this is crazy in the ring right now. This is all about realistic sliders, guys. Yes, this is a totally different type of style of match that you're going to see. We did see this match, and it ended differently in a very different way in a different and that's what i mean about the sliders it's all about building the show up when it comes down to your comments right i do not make the show you do so will j wall show up what planet will vipero become will he be part of the red lion planet now again let's talk about the boost i do apologize vipero i'm going all over the craze brooklyn joker brooklyn joker is here tonight let's go 10 points to brooklyn joker's character what are you going to do, bro? Red Dragon Planet gives you a boost to your arm strength. So punches, anything of that nature, doing with your arms, headlocks, things like that, all boosted. White Mermaid, now known as the Great White Shark Planet. The Great White Shark Planet. Gives you a boost to signatures and finishers. But of course... Your signatures and finishers are just as easily reversed as they are obtained. Look at everybody in the comments going crazy right now. Now, again, don't fret. Don't forget everything that you can get with the White Mermaid Planet can be taken away with a simple reversal. So it's a double-edged sword, the White Mermaid Boost, giving you a boost to your signatures and finishers. Because remember, you can get them taken away as quick as you can earn them. White Shark Planet. Red Dragon Planet with their arm boost. Black Scorpion Planet. Oh, he went. Oh, yo, Vipiro. Vipiro dodged. That's insane. Vipiro dodged his attempts. Vipiro dodged his suicide dive attempt with a tornado stunner. With a tornado stunner. This is insane amount of drama here tonight. What are you going to do, brother, when the SSU talents come for you? These guys aren't even going for pins yet. This is Drama Unbound. We're here tonight. SSU presents SummerSlam, the most realistic sliders here in 2K24. Again, Red Lion Planet, a.k.a. the Red Dragon Planet, boost to your arm stats. White Mermaid Planet, boost to your signatures and finishers, a.k.a. the Great White Shark Planet. Black Scorpion Planet gives you a boost to your submission strength. Vipiro double drop kick. Oh my God, Vipiro double drop kick. He hit both of his opponents with one maneuver. This guy's on fire. The Luchador is on fire and he stands alone. I stand alone. Listen to me. Nobody in their mind would ever attempt to create a style like this, but these men are doing so well tonight, you can't fault them for trying. Last but not least, the Purple Wolf Planet. The Purple Wolf Planet gives you a boost to your stamina, so let's just quickly go through it. Purple Wolf gives you a boost to stamina. Black Scorpion gives you a boost to 
submission straight. White Shark Planet gives you a boost to signatures and finishers. And of course, the Red Dragon Planet gives you a boost to your arm strength. So choose right now in the comments. Everybody who puts their planet in the comments, you already know. Just put what color your planet is. And of course, you'll earn those 10 points. Let's go, White Shark Planet. Let's go. White Shark Planet, let's go, Brooklyn. Joker, Brooklyn Joker. This is big business, everybody. Oh my God, he's going for it again. Psycho Nobu is down. Ebola sees him coming into the ring. Vipero gets stacked on top of body. Bodies on bodies right now. A luchador style fight is about to end in an electric chair. He's doing it. There. He's handing one winged angels. He's handing out one winged angels like they're freaking candy. Oh my God. Ebola Zaire Gaming wins the match. And I told you what kind of sliders we were going to have tonight. And those sliders are finisher based sliders. And he's handing out one winged angels. Like they're two for one. My God, Ebola Zaire Gaming pulls off a victory. Now, of course, his 100% aerial boost stat was all in the mix helping him tonight. Suicide dives were crazy. Comment section going crazy. The big green belt, the UFO title, goes home to its original owner. And that there is Ebola Zaire. That rhymed, I'm not a rapper. Coming up next, the ladies triple crown title owned by Victoria in the Purple Wolf Planet. Will v v Victoria be able to be v v v v victorious? I didn't have to do that, but I did. Against Emily Love. That's right, part of the Northern Impact. The Canadians are here, ladies and gentlemen. The Canadians are here. Get in the comment section right now. You guys got 30 seconds. Bet on who you guys think is going to win the match. Will it be Victoria or will it be Emily Love, who is the special guest referee when Victoria won the title? So let's remember that. Victoria winning the title thanks to Emily Love counting down the one, two, three. The lovely ladies triple crown title giving the purple wolf a boost now again will the northern faction or the northern impact be able to earn that boost tonight or will it be or will it be emily oh my god that rhymed i'm not a rapper but you can check it all out mm -hmm. so those music and videos part of northern impact. well you know emily love is uh she was created by some people over there, so let's uh if I want to join your show. This is good business, so it's like if I got a question, do I put my guy under SSU if you Absolutely, absolutely. If you want to get involved in the solo season universe, all you gotta do is upload your character with the hashtag solo season. That helps so that, that helps. Solo season all capitals. Hashtag solo season all capitals on WWE 2K24 community creations with the hashtag solo season all capitals or Hashtag SSU, all capitals, please. It really helps. And get involved in the most electrifying AI versus AI generated universe mode. It's just RPG style character progression. Get in that comment section, play the role, play the game. Fantasy sports style betting, you know? You got to make sure you bet so you can earn mm -hmm. some petty little points because your petty little points are going to become... A petty little one, two, three. Now you're the champion. Shout out to the man who's got all the boost tonight, Jakai. Getting a boost from this title. Oh, the title looks good, baby. The red diamonds. Oh, the ladies' triple crown looking good tonight. Let's listen in. Introducing the challenger from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Emily. The champ is here. When I join your show, me and Atticus is going to be a tag team. Oh my god, man, let me tell you, this is... I love the fact that the tag team division is finally getting some good people. Yeah, and he's chosen his planet. There, Yeah, this is, I know, I see the comments of Blaze. Emily Love is big as hell. Yo, Emily Love is big, bro. I don't know if Victoria, I didn't realize how big Emily Love was. She is a, 
She is a big woman. Because she was a man. She was. I. Well, we might have to check on that. We. We. We've got to ask the. That. I don't know. That. That. That looks just like a Bianca Bella. How tall is she? Oh my God! Who is this Captain Insano woman? Oh no, she is way too big. Oh my God, Emily Love has got to be standing at least six one six. Yeah, she's too strong. Oh, she's way too strong. Oh, Victoria's gonna have to find a way. That uh, Reeves is ringside right now, and you can see Victoria unhappy with her comments. It's a dude. It's a dude! <laughs> it's a dude! This is so crazy! And it looks like because she's getting a big boost! Huge moonsault! She could win it all right here early night! Oh man, early night, I thought it could be, but we're all wrong. White Shark is my home. Oh, and she gets a little payback. And you, that was beautiful. Do you see? This is what we're talking about when it comes to AI versus AI creating storylines. Did you see how Victoria went for that same whiplash face smash that Emily did? And it did nothing to her. She popped right back up. But then, of course, the champion is a champion. And she stayed right on her missile drop kick, shotgun drop kick. Absolutely put... Emily Love has five o'clock shadow, says Reeves. This is hard to watch. As we see the woman towering, absolutely towering over Victoria. Dragon whip takedown with a little extra moxie. Kick to the back of the leg. She see oh no. Oh, she's way too big. Spinning hook kick puts her down and out for the count. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the moment in time in the match where, again, I would like everyone to know, yes, the titles matter. They're, they're not just something that looks good around your waist. The titles actually matter, all right? The titles matter. They give your character a boost the same way a Dungeons & Dragons style um, like a cloak would or, or a special uh, item that gives your character a boost. That's what the belts are. They're based on that kind of stuff, you know, plus 10 to your agility. Shout out to the UFO title. And then, of course, you've got your comments that give your character a boost, your style, your creation style, your good looks, your friends who get involved. Shout out to Jakai, a very, very well-known CAW character, someone that actually has fans out there bringing in the big views. Shout out to Lord British, our champion, the man of all men, pulling the biggest swerve. Oh, Victoria able to... Oh, she's too... Oh, my God, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, and that is drama. Victoria able to duck under those big punches. She's too fast for Emily. Emily may be big, but she may not have the stamina. Drop toe hold puts her down, and she's walking over the back. She's walking to victory. Step up in Zaguri kick. Brings the big girl down, and now she's stomping down, trying to keep her oh my god she knows she can't pick her up so she's gonna have to do a high risk frog splash oh the impact was serious business this is big business right here coming out in another moon salt she's putting her she put the extra smoke on it she put the smoke on it emily love unable to get put away though unable to get put away with such a vicious moon shout I told you guys these matches are going to be totally different than the matches we usually watch. You usually get three minute, five minute matches out of the SSU because those aren't pay-per-view matches. Guys are getting cheated out. They're getting snuck from the back. Oh, that was a beautiful moment. What a beautiful moment of taunting. And Emily Love clearly saw it coming. Victoria trying to get the crowd on her side. And maybe she took too much time. And now she's facing... One of the worst moments of her life. The big punch to the chest. She's feeling the pain, baby. Again, upload your CAW with the hashtag solo season. Oh, beautiful reversal. Beautiful reversal. Make sure you upload your CAW with the hashtag solo season on WWE 2K23 Community Creations. Get involved in the most interactive, the most entertaining Solo season universe mode. 
He can't spell S. Oh, she's yo, she's dead. Oh, she crashed and burned. No wind. She what is she made of? She's made of absolute steel. She's made of absolute steel as she crashed on that concrete. There's no way that that did not do damage. That sent on from almost two stories up as she crashed to the concrete. I promise you that's going to be the reason why Victoria ends up getting... I told you! She's not... That's, I don't care what nobody says. I know my universe down to a T. My sliders are as realistic as possible. And the way she popped up from that, she's hurt. She, I don't care what she said. And look at her struggling to get to her feet. Oh, Emily Love toying with her at this point. Emily Love knowing that that high-risk maneuver put her in a bad way. And there goes the height difference paying off for Victoria there. That's why your character can't be ridiculous. This lady is a monster. She is a goat. She's bigger than China. I think she's bigger than most of the cruiserweights. Shout out to... My man Cliff, she's definitely bigger than Cliff. Oh, she does her own version. She does her own version of the frog splash. Good God, she came crashing down like a 747 jet. And a slice of cheese, a slice of cheese separates the referee from the three count. And she's going up again. She's going to reverse it. Watch, she's got to reverse this. She's got to reverse this. Oh, no, that was bad. That was bad. That was really bad. This is not looking good for Victoria. The tides have turned. We, I thought she had a moment where she might win this, but now we've got this girl who is clearly 6'3". She's as big as Lord British. She's as big as... Oh, she blew it! Oh, oh my God! Yes, dude! Yo, she blew it! Victoria didn't even have to do anything. She absolutely blew it. But she still seems to be rattled from all of the damage she took. Will Victoria be able to counter? Of course she does. This is it. Usually matches end pretty quick in the SSU. Three minutes, five minutes. Out there. A clear-cut winner, you know. A clear-cut winner here tonight. We're watching everyone who's number one. These are the top talents going up against the other top talent in their division. You think it's going to sit there and be the same as if they got... No, tonight is the night. Tonight is where your AI gets pushed to the limits. Where my sliders get pushed to the limits. Here comes the finisher. These are finisher-based sliders. Finisher-based sliders, and that's a flatliner. Puts that big woman down. Leg is in the air. Oh. My. God. How to not make a call. You can hear the crowd right now feeling very good about this. No one is on their seat. Everyone is on their feet. This is crazy. This is crazy. This arena is buzzing tonight. And it's all for the ladies' triple crown title. She's going up again. Oh, that's the leg drop she won with. Oh, she's stunned. I just wanted to check on it. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, Victoria. Victoria is victorious with that purple wolf leg drop. She tried to get it done with the cross body. She tried to get it done with the five-star frog splash. She was able to get it done with that rock star leg drop, that purple wolf leg drop that's indicative of their entire group. Now, remember, guys, Jakai does that. Kirk does that. Everybody from the purple wolf kind of signatured that move and watch her work. Victoria victorious all right guys we're gonna take a small intermission here as the million dollar championship entrances go on so again I'm gonna be charging my phone you guys will be hearing all of the amazing music I'm just gonna go ahead and grab myself a drink grab some Weedles shout out to my man Jay Wizzle who will be appearing next episode Jay Wall appearing next episode shout out to Viper Hero man, amazing debut for him. Unfortunately, because of Ken Shaw, because of our conversations that we had in the com comment section. Oh, there's the briefcase. There's the briefcase. Oh my God, he's bringing the briefcase tonight. He doesn't bring the briefcase every night. He's at the pay per view. Is he gonna cash in on Lord British? <laughs> 
And I want you guys to like take intricate little moments like this. Okay, does Killshot always come out with the briefcase? No. Oh man, I'm telling you now, it's scary if I'm the champion. If I'm the champion, I would be worried because he's got the briefcase here tonight. Kill shot. Now, I, again, I want to just talk about it, and I hope you guys appreciate it. Does kill shot come with the briefcase every episode? No. Kill shot. And I hope you understand, like, and I hope it makes you guys feel some type of way. Like, oh, why would he not bring it? Because he's guaranteeing he's not cashing in tonight. He's making you feel at ease. He's making you feel at ease. And then when the briefcase does show up, it's a big deal. So that's storytelling on a high level, guys. I hope you guys appreciate it. I hope you guys understand it. I hope you guys get what I'm trying to do, that I'm not just having him not come out with the briefcase because it's like, oh, he's not coming out with the briefcase tonight. It's because I'm setting up possibly a swerve or I'm trying to get you emotionally invested. Let's go. Oliver Savage, my son here tonight. Get in the comment section right now. Tell me who you guys think is going to win. Ease. Z money. Let's put O for Oliver. We're going to do a amazing thing here tonight. There's going to be so many letters in the comment section. Let's wait until everybody gets into the ring and then you can vote on who you think is going to win this amazing million dollar Royal Rumble. That's right. The Cash App Royal Rumble. Whoever wins this match will be getting real money. Whether it be through Zelly, Cash App, however I got a wire transfer you the money. Will my son win the money here tonight? Will it be Killshot? Mr. Money in the Bank. Mr. Drama's Real Briefcase. Will Killshot be earning some real money tonight? Will Killshot be earning some real money? Coming to the ring. Let's go. Now, again, guys, I hope you got your Weedles. I hope you got your drinks. I'm about to go make me another one. This is going to be a short intermission. Go and please, please, I beg you, please. The best times we ever have is when we get new people like Heartbroken, when we get new people in the comment section and understand this. People will get frustrated. I know people will get mad. That's the point. If you're not emotionally involved, why are you here? Fantasy sports style betting. In the most electrifying four corners known to mankind, pro wrestling, ladies and gentlemen, King Dominator. Been here for almost two years now. King Dominator taking your brain and trying to scramble it with that perfect knee. The Shining Wizard. Now again, ladies and gentlemen, this is all about you, the season few. I don't make the storylines. You guys make it happen. I just create the craft that is pro wrestling. And tonight we've seen Killshot come out with the briefcase. So will that mean he's, is he's going to cash in? I think that symbolizes he's going to cash in regardless of how this Royal Rumble goes. He's going to cash in. Because if you think that's a pretty cool metaphor, he wins the money, cashes out, and then cashes in. Coming up next. Million Dollar Royal Rumble. Who's going to get the money, man? Let's go. The comment section is, of course, all up to you, the season few. Make sure you guys lay in your comments. I can't understand hyping up the rookies I see. Okay, David Fair is in there getting... He said, weeding out the imposters. How not to make a call 101. Give me my money. David Fair, everybody in the comments knows what's going on. By Piero Lucha putting on. Yo, let's just talk about the highlights. As much as I want to put this down and not, you know, hit the like button and not talk to you the season few. Bro, the double drop kick. He punched the dude and did a drop kick on the other guy. That was amazing. There were a lot of things that the Viper Lucha. Uh, by Piero absolutely showed that his character is created perfectly. I see during his entrance he has a pyro effect that makes the crowd go ooh at the same exact time his character like lunges at the crowd 
it's really good. He did a very good job creating his character, and I noticed the little things that he did. And um, again, guys, he's he's a teen, so he's got some of us beat. The future is bright here at the SSU. The Doomsday Sheik, the Doomsday Prophet, looking real, real intense right now. Jakai, of course, going up against the champion in the main event. Oh my God, Jakai said, Bim Laden, Jesus Christ, help us all. Mr. Galaxy is here. Mr. Galaxy is here. The man who beat the champion not too long ago. The man who fought Weapon X and was injured not too long ago. He was rumored to be maybe part of the... The true empire. Smiley faced assassin trio. We don't know still. We're still curious as to if that was Mr. Galaxy or who? Smiley face Dos was Jay Savage. Smiley face Uno was Lord British. So who is Smiley face Tres? There was all kinds of drama happening, guys, under those masks and uh, rumored to be Mr. Galaxy, but I highly doubt it. I highly doubt it now that we know what we know. Who was Smiley Face Trace? The championship on the line later on tonight. Interplanetary title holder Jakai versus solo season universal holder. Lord British. Jay Savage, of course, holding the line for Lord British as Weapon X also wanted to get involved in tonight's match. And so with that said, Weapon X has to fight Jay Savage tonight. Doesn't have to, but he, of course, won't turn down a match to fight Jay Savage. And then at the end of the day, it's uh, it's big business. It's big business. He's holding the line because could you only imagine if Weapon X was ringside for the fight against Jakai and Lord British, he'd be causing all kinds of hell, man. That match would never go down fair. No doubt about that. Main event, SSU title on the line. Let's see what happens. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited for this match. I keep putting the microphone down, and I'm like, oh, I can take a break really quick. I can. Let me tell you something. There is nothing more ridiculously difficult to do than commentating. Like, it is it's an hour of straight talking. I break a sweat sometimes, man. I be in here giving you guys all I got, telling all the stories, trying to notice everything, little details in your guys' characters, little moments that create massive moments. It's happening, guys. We're going to make it one day. The virtual universe, the virtual wrestling universes will overtake real life. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. As long as we can keep it real funky, like you guys in the comment section right now. Let's go the million dollar championship on the line. Who's going to get this real money? Guys, make sure you get in that comment section. Kill shot. I know you're in the comments. Make sure you guys hit the comments right now. I'm going to shut up for a little bit. 
Anyone who wants to cut a promo, I would cut a promo right now. Vipiro, if you guys have something to say, say it. I'll show you guys how to get it done as I usually do. So here's the time, guys. Dang, Killshot, you are down already. D down and out. Get up, Killshot. Get up, brother. It's time to fight. Our time is near. The clash of two deities is at a near beginning. Dot dot may the best win. Hello to you, the season few, man. What are you talking about, bro? I can't believe that. The Doomsday Sheik already eliminated by Mr. Galaxy? Man, I can't even... Oh, big spear! King Dominator with the perfect spear! Oliver Savage is exposed right now! Big exposed is Oliver Savage! He's holding on to that rope, but if anybody goes and decides to hit him, it's gonna be a bad day. Uh-oh, JD! JD! King JD! Yo, Galaxy's too strong for him, so he uses a little bit more technique instead of using his strength, but Killshot comes and hits him with a big boot, body shot, downward chop. Everybody knows that Mr. Money in the Bank, Mr. Drama's Real Briefcase can cash in any time, and he's got the briefcase here tonight. The champion has to be on full alert. Has to be on full alert. And look at this, Killshot, the only one mobile in the ring. Oh, beautiful maneuver. It looked like Killshot countered a super kick. Oh, my God. No way. Killshot gets minus 10 points for stealing Jay Savage's coveted triple butterfly. Oh, my goodness. Killshot not even using it as a finisher. Oh, maybe he did. Oh, he did. He basically did use it as a finisher. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Killshot. But now you're getting booted in the face. <laughs> This is crazy. I can't even enjoy my life right now. There's so much drama. My son getting hit with a tornado roundhouse kick. This man, King JD, is off the charts right now. Oh! 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 My God! Clip it! Clip it! Oh, my God, dude! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Hold the phone. How do I do the start point? How do I go back? How do I go back? Oh, hold on. Let me see that. Oh, oh my God, bro. Clip it. Yo, King JD with a drop kick stutter, the first of its kind ever done ever anywhere in any universe, real or fake. No one's ever done a drop kick combined with a cutter. The cutters were once banned by Lord British. That's right. No one's characters could ever use the cutters. They were banned by the SSU champion. Of course, he does have that power. We will explain the SSU championship power later on tonight. During that match, I feel like it's more fitting to understand what's on the line, the actual control of my stream. Literally, if you wanted to put everyone in purple tutus, you could. We get a view of Mr. Galaxy, unfortunately, having to head to the back, and he looked quite disappointed. Ladies and gentlemen, the crowd is going crazy. 
The crowd is going. And another, another one of those springboard drop kick. This time he put so much moxie on it, it put Oliver down for the count. The crowd is going crazy. I'm going crazy. What is going to happen next year at the SSU? A cannonball. Cannonball shoulder tackle. Finisher. Now remember, these all of my sliders are based on finishers. Oh, this is a good showdown. This is a good showdown. Oliver versus King JD. So far, King JD, I'm not even going to lie. I've got to vote for my son, but JD really gave me some good ideas. Man, that was great. Upload your character. Upload your CAW with the hashtag Solo Season to get involved in the most electrifying universe known to mankind here in Solo Season Universe. Oliver's trying to get away from it. Oliver's trying to get away, but he doesn't even care. He just knees him in the back of the head. Good God, man, like you give a damn. Irish whip throws him over. Oh, beautiful. Oliver able to counter. Oliver able to counter. He goes under. He goes over. This late in the round, a kitchen sink knee is exactly what he needs. Chest chop like his old pops. Now he's wearing down the arm with an inverted arm bar here. Beautiful, beautiful moment. King JD able to roll out. Oh my God. These guys are putting on a clinic one on one in the Royal Rumble. This is realistic wrestling. And another kitchen sink knee with less flash and pizzazz on it. You can see that King JD is trying to put more lucha on it. Oliver's like, get that trash out of here. I don't need to go over. What is he doing? What is he doing? Oh, my God. Oliver Savage got the angle. He's been doing some push-ups. Oh, he's been. Oh, and he landed all wrong. Oh, my God. He landed all wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, if you voted for Oliver Savage, well, guess what? It's. I'm telling you right now, man. My son is about to get money. That's hilarious. Uh, he's in bed right now, but he's going to be happy when he wakes up to find money is in his hand thanks to all of that drama. Ladies and gentlemen, the return of Max Maximus. Ladies and gentlemen, the return of Max Maximus here tonight to irritate Weapon X, I'm sure. Jay Savage bringing an old friend of mine and yours. Wait, where'd the tag team match go? I think that I hope the tag team match is still there. All right. Max Maximus and Lord British walking out with Jay Savage making a clear statement on who they are. Now these two have been going at it for years now. These two have been fighting each other for years. Almost three, four years. Max Maximus, of course, Maxi Pat as he was dubbed. Tampon, oh my God, so many disrespectful names. Weapon X has called this man in here tonight making his debut. He is, he is, he's hit me up, he's commented. Max has been in the comments a few times. Shout out to Nashin7. Hi, Miche. He's here tonight to give Jay Savage a little bit of love and support, which he's going to need because uh, he's going up against one of the best. And uh, let's just say I am a little nervous for my character. I am a little nervous for my character. The longest reigning solo season universal champion, the current interplanetary and previous UFO title holder, Jakai, a, 
short time. Kirk held that SSU title. All of these men, champions in their own right. The Wolf Pack is back. The most dominant force ever to be seen in the SSU. We thought the four pillars might come together, but of course they're not a group. The four pillars are not a group. They're just a stable that was claimed as the ones to hold up the universe. Man, this is going to be a good match. Weapon X, Jay Savage, you know the drama is going to be high. You're on the wrong side. Oh, big right hand gets countered and he turns his back. Weapon X turned his back on Jay Savage and Jay Savage made him pay. Weapon X playing some mind games. Now, if you guys don't remember, almost two years ago, Lord British was caught in a rope-a-dope. And I absolutely mean that. It was an amazing moment where it was... Weapon X didn't do a single attack until the end of the match. He did reversals and oh, Lord British, what is Lord doing? Oh my God, the Lord just took off the turnbuckle pad. Max Maximus ringside, the referee didn't see it. The champion's already cheating. And Jay Savage has been doing nothing but big power bombs here tonight. Okay, Weapon X needs to kick out of that. I thought this was going to be a squash match. There's no way that it was a squash match. Classic British look. I am upset right now. Finally, Weapon X gets some offense off, and that's what we're talking about here at the Universe. Looks like the referee noticed the turnbuckle pad off. There is a big moonsault, clearly, clearly. Weapon X has been training with the Wolfpack as that moonsault was used by Victoria to launch an assault on Emily Love to claim that victorious ladies triple crown tie. Oh, that's horrible. That's what I'm talking about, Weapon X, but that's horrible. Multiple kicks to the lower lumbar. It looked so realistic, and look who's going ham. There's two. There's no way he's going for the three amigos here tonight. And he's got Jay Savage down for the pin. Oh, my God. This is the back and forth. No, I was beating him. There were power bombs coming from Jay Savage. And there it is. Oh, my God. He's telling him to get out of here. It's a drama moment between British and Weapon X. Oh, my God. Lord British and Weapon X. Oh, my God. It is just enough time for Jay Savage to come in there and make it happen for himself. Chest chop. Chest chop. Oh, and that one lit him up. The all-famous chest chops from Jay Savage put Weapon X down for the count. What is Jay Savage doing? Oh, my God. Oh my god, what a beautiful rebound, Larietta! Oh, and Weapon X able to get out. Oh my god, stop it, Jay. Stop it, Jordan. Oh my god, I'm just too excited. What is he doing? No. No, Lord Moo. Oh, the Lord, what are you doing? Oh, it's all backfiring. Oh, the Lord just got ejected. The Lord just got ejected from the freaking match. Oh, my God. Wait, he just ejected him. Oh, no. This is going to be bad. Oh, my God. This is horrible. Oh, he popped right back up. What the hell? I've never seen Jay Savage do that style of kip up before. What is he doing here? He refuses to leave. There's no security here tonight. Oh, Lord British is refused. Even Max Max. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The referee can't stop the champion. And he, uh, he brushes the dirt off his shoulder. Oh, my God. Jay Savage goes for a chop. Weapon X goes for a chop. You can't chop the chopper. You can't chop with all. Oh, they're going chop for chop. Slap for slap. This is AEW style. Oh, there's a slap that could wake up the devil. Slap that wakes Jay Savage up. These guys are fighting it out. Oh, the crowd's on their feet. This is like a slap competition. Jay Savage asking for it. Oh, he almost KO'd him. 
Oh, he almost KO'd him in a big slap. These guys were... They're not giving up! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, 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 oh my God! The drama is real. Weapon X goes for what seemed to be a basement-style dropkick, and he can't get away from that suplex. Jay Savage goes for it. Inverted Scorpion Death Drop. Scorpion death drop and Weapon X can't get up and Jay Savage is on the turnbuckle giving the crowd exactly what they want and that's his beautiful face. Oh no. Oh no, Jay Savage burning hammer. No, that's Weapon X's finishing maneuver. No one kicks out of the burning hammer. Oh, a slice of cheese. You could see the referee was a slice of cheese away from the one, two, three. And we have ourselves a finish to the map. Oh, oh, Jay Savage trying to, oh, no way. No way. He kipped up right into a burning hammer. Beautiful. Oh, that was beautiful. I'm not even mad at the finish. Jay Savage tried to do a kip up, and who was waiting right there? Weapon X was waiting right there for the kill. That was a beautiful, beautiful moment, ladies and gentlemen. And again, shout out to you, the season few. Had we had seen the Burning Hammer 13 times in every episode before now, it wouldn't have been as cool. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Wolf Pack. The Wolf Pack is here. Wow. Coming up next. Really? Now again, no one no one puts on a show like Jay Savage and Weapon X. Nobody puts on a show like Jay Savage and Weapon X. Wait, where are where is Wait, where is Weapon X and all right, we're going to have to create that match. Going to have to create that match really quick. Hold on, let me see. Let me create this match real quick. Moriarty in the corner. Slash slash. Here for the wolf pack. I want to. Yo, see why is he 100? Yo. Okay, so we're going to have to go and look at that because it has to be that he's ranked number one and gets that plus 10 stat like J Wall did. And he's been undefeated. Oh my God, bro. What the. Yo, plus, yo, Jakai, if you pull this off, bro, if you pull this off, that'll be, that'll be it. Originally, he's supposed to be ranked 92. So, shout out to Lord Brennan. Oh, I'm, I'm missing his song. Okay, so much drama happening right now. Oh, man, that's going to be big. He's at a huge disadvantage. But that's the champion for you, man. Hold on. that That is, that is going to be... A championship level drama right there. Hold on. I'm so sorry, guys. Here we go. Andrew Dubs, the man from Japan, the Canadian soul survivor, Ken Shaw. Andrew Dubs, the Northern Impact. Andrew Dubs coming in with a new outfit here tonight. Looking good, looking snazzy. You can do that too. Simply upload your character with the hashtag solo season on WWE 2K24 Community Creations. Okay, here we go. These two have been talking major trash about the tag team title holders for quite some time. All of the words coming from Ken Shaw, Cliff, and all of the Canadian drama that's been happening at the hospital. Of course, we know that he was attacked he was attacked and was injured tonight. Ken Shaw is not at 100%. 
Ken Shaw is not at 100%. Will he be able to come back from such treacherous means as his own family has told him, stop worrying about the tag team titles. You're a singles competitor. Will the drama get in his brain? Tag team titles on the line tonight. The Wolf Pack versus the Northern Impact. Jockey B2. And their opponents at a combined weight of 474 pounds. The men's tag team champions, the Hook Foundation. I kind of like how Dubs used that Undertaker mask. Now, that Undertaker mask is actually very very well known to me because the man who trained me in wrestling is also the man who made that mask famous no not the undertaker no no not the undertaker the man who punched the mask and hurt his hand or at least sold it like he did the harlem knights that's right guys the harlem knights trained me down here in Dallas at Bumps and Bruises. We had a lot of good drama going on. We're going to get that good camera angle for the main event, co-main events. That's right, putting in a lot of work for the camera angles here in the main event, co-main event. We're going to get in there and give you guys... And look, he's talking to him. Andrew Dubs talking to Deuce while it's all going down. Andrew Dubs talking to Deuce while it's all going down. Kirk just flexed on him. Now, of course, Kirk has a uh, little man complex. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's the truth. He's he's not a luchador style. He literally lifts, power lifts all day, all night. He only, he's the only man to ever pick up Toad. That's right. The 300 plus pound Toad was lifted by Kirk. In an amazing show of strength, it was it was uh, it was pretty insane. All of that, of course, was to test out our sliders. So thank you again for Kirk uh, making his character to the point where we thought it could be okay to test his character out. Kind of poke fun at the fact that he is a Lex Luger style fighter, but four inches shorter. More of a. Four inches matters, says Reeves. Shout out to... Oh, hot tag. There's no way Ken Shaw goes off the top. He's so smart, but unfortunately, he's unable to get a handle on Deuce. The big man is no way. Oh, my God, dude. Ken Shaw, kick out. What are you doing, bro? Why would you scare me like that? Oh, my God, dude. The false finishes tonight have been absolutely insane. Now, we've watched Ken Shaw lose to some pretty un, yeah. un like pretty ridiculous moves. Can anybody get in the comment section and tell me why Ken Shaw has been losing? I'll tell you why. You don't have to get in the comments. It's because his injuries. It's because of his comments. It's because of his storyline where he hasn't been having the greatest relationship with Dubs. But here tonight, the first tag team move from the Northern Impact. Oh, my God. The first tag team move from the Northern Impact is a most amazing one. This is crazy. Ken Shaw's right there to break it up, but he's not able to do so. But Deuce is. That avalanche, that Canadian avalanche knee burning hammer. This is crazy talk. Andrew Dubs in the Northern Impact working well. Oh my God, everything's changed for these two. These two working very well together. This is storyline. If you guys don't remember, Andrew Dubs and Ken Shaw wouldn't do tags. Ken Shaw couldn't be saved by Dubs. Dubs refused to save him. This is a totally different tag team. These two have some cohesion. These two have a storyline. These two have some drama. Ken Shaw showing that he he too has that moonsault 
in his back pocket. Kirk saying, you disrespectful turd. Hops right in the ring, starts fighting, and we got ourselves a problem. He goes under. He goes over the big man, the vertical leap from the Canadian. Oh, Andrew Dubs tries to sneak up on Kirk, and Kirk is wise to his antics. Kirk literally saw Andrew Dubs coming from a mile away, hit him with a back elbow to put him right in his place. Now, Ken Shaw screaming at someone in the crowd that he's from Canada and he's proud. That rhymed, I'm not a rapper, but it looks like the, the crowd seems to be mostly American, and they are, uh, they're teasing Ken Shaw, it seems. It was the small child, and the key's crying. Oh, my God, the small boy is crying in the front row thanks to some comments made by Andrew Dubs, and it looks like Kirk is clearly the leader of this situation. Kirk is clearly the stronger of the two. Now, oh, that's a bad moment. That's a bad moment. Reeves in the comment section. Reeves right here ringside with me. Famous comment here. Get up. Oh, my God. A slice of cheese. That was the closest one yet. It seems like every false finish we have here tonight, every close two count we have is getting closer and closer and closer. That's going to be the power bomb. That was going to be that all-famous Kirk power bomb. And now he gets countered with a butterfly DDT. And Deuce comes flying in like a Ford F-150 in a Steven Seagal movie. Jesus. Powered right through that breakup. That was a bad pin. Bad pin attempt. He has to get his teammate out of the way. Andrew Dubs able to get Kirk in an Irish whip. Oh, these two gentlemen back and forth with the Irish whip. Kirk once again proves to be the better of the two in the ring. Andrew Dubs now getting the best of Deuce. Deuce, bigger than Andrew Dubs, but unfortunately it looks like Andrew has a lot more technical ability. We watched not too long ago, Mighty Mouse beat a man that was 250 in a jiu-jitsu match. It was quite crazy to watch Mighty Mouse win against a bigger guy like that. Another double team here. This time it's an over-the-top backdrop. These two working so well. We've seen that avalanche knee. We've seen that, uh, I can't believe it, Sister Abigail. The Canadian Maple. The Canadian Maple. It's, it's flowing thick. It's flowing thick. Oh, my God. Deuce with an arm drag. Who the hell saw that coming? Oh, my God, the big man doing a tag team with his brother. Here we go. The Wolf Pack now working together. Getting a little bit of trouble is Ken Shaw. Payback. Back body drop. Now he's, oh, my God, the nerve pinch. We've seen people tap to the nerve pinch before. Lord British has been famous for tapping people with that nerve pinch. And now my man just flies across the sky lands pretty roughly on that springboard ken shaw is the only one that's been getting pinned this match andrew dubs oh no and he's working that he's working it again the nerve pin shutting off the blood this time ken shaw's used to the pain and he's fighting back the canadian cold is a brutal brutal preparation method for ken shaw he's running that rocky style gauntlet through the snow and you got to be a little bit colder with your approach Kirk if you're gonna knock out the Canadian the sole survivor Ken Shaw Andrew Tubbs the man from Japan versus Kirk this has been a moment that I know Kirk has been wanting and he's got his hands on the man from Japan and he's putting him down the Japanadian Yo, Kirk is a monster right now. Andrew Dubs able to fight back. Now they're throwing some punches to each other. The big chops. We saw the most beautiful back and forth coming from Weapon X and Jay Savage. You guys got to be honest with yourselves. That's got to be one of the best back and forths we've ever seen. Whether it be real or fake, those were some serious drama slaps, slaps, slaps. Headbutt. I told you that mask is clearly protecting his face, ladies and gentlemen. The referee has to talk about that. Get in the comment section right now. If you're here in the comment section, I need you guys to comment on what you guys think about his mask. He's wearing it, and it looks to be almost protective, and he just used it, I think, as a weapon. Does the? It's like using a cast. If you have a broken arm, using your cast as a weapon, I think, is... It's quite ridiculous. Cody Rhodes able to do it against Brock Lesnar, getting a big victory. 
Ken Shaw now giving some payback thanks to Andrew Dubb setting up some uh, some pretty solid offense for him as Kirk has to be tired even if he was beating the hell out of Andrew Dubbs and that's it that's it he's got nothing left you can tell Kirk is exhausted you can tell Kirk is exhausted even though he's been beating the hell out of these two Canadians they just keep on getting up they just keep on getting up they just keep on getting up now again Ken Shaw being attacked at the hospital his knee being damaged in quite a a major way as you can see the knee brace there's a knee brace on the knee of Ken Shaw the right knee has been damaged the right knee has been damaged the torn torn ligaments in the knee being held together by a metal brace here in this tag team title event will Ken Shaw be over to overcome now why is Ken Shaw getting beat up so much why is Ken Shaw losing a lot to Kirk well it's because he's injured why is Andrew Dubs the one doing oh beautiful duck dodge dip from the chop and he's going to the back of the head here with some bionic elbows dore origato mr canadian robato it's a snow making machine that's all it can do it makes maple syrup and snow it's a canadian robot the jap canadian in the ring now looking for an irish whip irish whip lands pretty solidly power slam Power slam reminiscent of a 1982 match I saw with Scott Steiner, one of his early start matches. It was crazy. The amount of force that man got on that Irish whip rebound power slam. Oh, in the in the unconventional sex choke. Andrew Dubb says, not without my consent. Looks for another Irish whip and starts throwing right hands. Kirk starts throwing them back. Consent is important. Reeves ringside right now, agreeing that Andrew Dubs had the right to fight back, as anybody does. What does everyone think about Andrew Dubs' mask? Again, who, who, who do you think you are using that mask? And now look at Kirk. As soon as I start talking about it, he uses his own head as a weapon, but it's, it's not covered by anything. But is it harder than anybody else's head? Like, is the wolf pack literally just got hard heads, and that's why they're hard to defeat? The big boot, man. Ken Shaw, no selling the big boot. And oh my God, but he can't no sell the headbutt. You see the difference in power between the big boot and the headbutt. So tonight we're watching these guys use unconventional methods. He can't get it off anymore. It's too loose. It's too much. And he can't get off anymore. And there's no way. He's he's absolutely flaccid. He cannot. My man cannot. That butterfly. DDT is no more. Deuce has figured out how to get out of it. And every single time Ken Shaw has been looking for it, he's been reversing it with that arm drag. He's got his number on that now. Ken Shaw's going to have to find a new way to finish this match. Sidewalk slam on the concrete. That's not going to be good. The lower lumbar, the lower back, one of the biggest... AI disadvantages like I, I'm going to tell you everyone's seen it the elbow drop from the top rope to the lower lumbar has always been a guaranteed one two three you can't I hope Deuce knows oh he tagged in his brother he tagged in his brother oh but that doesn't make any sense that doesn't make any sense Deuce made a huge mistake no why are you guys celebrating you guys won the match, but you can't win the tag team titles by disqualification. Oh, my God. Deuce and Kirk are about to be very upset when someone gets in the ring and tells them they can't win the titles by disqualification. They're looking for the titles now, and I think, yeah, I think they're understanding it. Oh, my God. Ladies and gentlemen, they have officially cost themselves the title with that one.
time to put in the work of the good Lord. The man known to some as the Ripper. The man known to most as the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the season few. The most dominant champion. The one who swerved everyone. The man who tricked everyone and obtained the interplanetary title and the SSU title by getting banned by Jay Savage, who was actually his confidant, who he allowed, it was just the biggest setup in, uh, in SSU history. It was the biggest setup in SSU history, all orchestrated by the SSU champion to acquire this belt, the interplanetary title. And of course, as he graciously gifted it to the match between Jakai and his brother, Kirk and Jakai formed a family bond once again over the match, over the interplanetary title, the beautiful interplanetary title, now purple, that will change color if any other planet gets it. So that's right, if that belt is held by someone from the White Mermaid planet, it will turn white. If it's held by someone from the Red Dragon, it will turn red. If it's held by someone from the Black, you know what it's going to be. It's going to be black, ladies and gentlemen, Jakai! The huge boost to his entire planet against what essentially is the Thanos gauntlet. The SSU champion, Lord British, is not an evil man. No. And he has nothing to do with Moriarty. Nothing to do with Moriarty. That might have been the Ripper on the side of Jay Savage. He didn't take his mask off. It's kind of weird. How he was acting ringside, very evil, very reminiscent. Is he a different man here in the ring with the mask off? Jakai, the same man no matter where you see him. Trying to be the best alpha he could be. The Wolfpack leader himself, Jakai, here tonight. To prove to not only himself, not only to you, the season few, but prove to the entire world. The entire universe that the wolf pack reigns supreme over Jay Savage and the Lord and their ragtag group of the four pillars. Weapon X, of course, included in that. J Wall included in this arena is empty right now. No one ringside. This is a different feel. This is a totally different feel here tonight. Oh, there's that moonsault that we saw earlier tonight. He was able to land it on a standing Lord British. Couldn't have said it better. And he's going for springboard cutters looking to put away the Lord early tonight. Of course, the SSU title is on the line. And it looks like he may have his number here early tonight. But again, we've seen matches that are absolutely incredible. One of the best matches ever to be ever seen in the SSU was, of course, Lord British versus Weapon X in what we call the Rope-A-Dope match. He literally Rope-A-Doped him. He didn't. His character refused to punch him. It was an amazing glitch or whatever you want to call it. It was so amazing and uh, it, it just it was crazy to watch him get beat up for almost 10 minutes. And then at the very last second, at the very last second, be able to pull out a reversal of a finisher and uh, 
literally not even do a finisher of his own, just reverse the Lord's finisher, exhaust him to the point that he couldn't fight anymore. A rope dope the literal version of a rope dope Shout out to Weapon X. It was the most amazing episode. You guys can go and check that out in my playlist. Storyline 9, Storyline 10. Make sure you guys go to sleep tonight watching all of the playlists. Just press play all. Skim through, have a good time, listen to the storyline, and help the SSU universe get involved in what has to be the future of wrestling, virtual wrestling, virtual wrestling federations. Oh, toss away slam. Let's get back to the action here in the ring. We're watching Jakai face some pretty steep problems right now, but... It's been back and forth. Let's be honest. I can try and say that the Lord has been on his game. I can say that jakai has been on his game, but that's his finishing maneuver right there. That's his finishing maneuver. And Jakai, I think, knows he's unloading the tank a little bit early. Or is it? Is it perfect what he needs? That's the moonsault. This mid-rope moonsault. Come on, Jockey. Oh my God, Jakai lays on a massive. Why is the referee? Yo, the referee is counting very fast. Oh and my God, the Lord's up at eight. What is going on here? Oh my God, I thought the Lord was gonna get put away early tonight. Some shots to the gut. Big knee. And the Lord can't find a way to deal with the speed of Jakai. This is, I mean, I'm speechless right now. I am absolutely speechless. And he goes for those big knees again, but the big man able to counter, and there he goes with some powerhouse moves. And, you know, I think that's the difference right there. Jakai can land 10 moves, and the Lord can land three. And it will be just as effective. Oh, my goodness. The man is dangerous. Is this a figure four? Oh, my God, center of the universe, figure four. And Jakai can't understand why he would do it, but now he knows he can't stand up. He knows he can't stand up. The referee gets to two, and the Lord takes a hard look at the Wolfpack leader, goes for an Irish whip. He took too much time. The Lord is taking too much time. There it is. Comment 10 in the comment section right now. Get yourself a free 10 points if you have a character. If you want to put it on someone else's character. Get in the comment section right now and comment 10. Shout out to Super Animal Crew. Finally back for the main event of the pay-per-view. That rhymed. I'm not a rapper. Snap into a Slim Jim. This is your king. No more north. I have ended it. I have. I, but, yo, he, you, but here's the weird thing, though. You didn't win the titles. You won by disqualification. Oh, this is where the Lord turns the tables, I see. The sledgehammer. Now, again, guys, if you don't know anything about the SSU, the weapons are turned all the way up because, I, you know, like, they're weapons. Why? Like, if you get hit with a chair ten times, even mankind was KO'd by a ten-chair shot combination. You think you're harder and tougher than mankind? I'm sure you think you do, but you're not. I just want Jockey to win. I just want Jakai to win. A lot of people in there for the Wolf Pack right now. Referee understanding that this is a no-holds-bars style match. Last man standing. There are no rules. Just keep your... Opponent down for 10. Jakai just holding him down with kicks and punches. Irish whip. He's going to bounce back into a back elbow. Will Jakai continue the assault? No. A lot of one and duns. The referee is counting quite fast for my taste. 
Oh my god, and another kick to the face. This man, Jakai, is getting brutal right now. The Lord has to fight back. Jay Savage or somebody has to come out of that back and help the champion. Oh no, here comes the finisher. He's been lighting him up all night. And there it is. That's the way you put someone down for 10. Able to lift the bigger opponent up into the air and puts him down. He's going crazy right now. Slap in the chest. He knows he's got him beat. Oh my God. Wait a minute. He's up. He's up. What are you talking about? He's up. Oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. The crowd's booing. The referee cheated. I think that Jakai cheated the champion out. I don't know if that's going to be a fair match. The referee clearly was on Jakai's side. I think the champion was up on his feet. The champion's not done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not over. He was not done. This is it. This is not over. You can almost guarantee that the Lord will want his payback as this is not over. I want to say thank you to you, the season few, for coming through. I had a great time, and I hope you did too. What drama for the final main event tonight. He was beating him down the whole time, but it looked like Arthur got up to his feet, and he still had a lot of fight left in him. Now, the SSU and interplanetary champion Jakai, I think is going to have a big problem on his hands, especially in the fans' eyes, at least in my eyes. We'll see how we'll see how it all goes down. Can never run for Sue or interplanetary titles. My God, a robbery. My decree. Hold on. He's like making a one decree here. He said, my rematch. Enjoy Lord being second. He said, tunes are banned and dubs can never run for the... You can't do two. <laughs> That's two and one. It's a decree, not decrees. <laughs> Multiple. All right? So the way decrees work, you know, it takes me a lot of time to do the editing. If there's something like that, it's not a big deal, you know. Uh, dubs, you're not going for the interplanetary title. Tunes, I mean, they were gone anyway. So those were easy and management accepts easy terms, man. I think, yeah, man, my, it was robbery. I think so too. But I mean, I don't know if you saw Lord. It's not, bro. It's not robbery. You're rated 99. I don't know what happened with his character today, um, but I feel like the referee cheated him. He was counting very fast. And then I think the Lord stood up. I don't think that this is over. The Lord clearly wasn't down for the count. That was a match. That's a last man standing match. At the very end of that match, both men were standing. Let's just be real. At the at the, at the end of that match, that the name of the match was last man standing match. So Jakai, I think you I I honestly think this match isn't over. I honestly don't think this match is over. Management stepped in, did a last man standing match because we all know Lord would have beat you in a submission match. So I think on the next episode you fight the Lord in a submission match. If he wins, what's he, up after the fact? Whatever. Was up after the fact. Yeah, he was. Kirk was right. He was up after the fact, but he's up. The last man standing matches the last man standing. They were both up. Run Whether it be after or under, you know, it, it, like the idea was he was supposed to beat him to a bloody pulp to the point where he cannot stand. Last man standing. He stood up. He stood up. And that's drama. Oh, he bent the knee. Oh, Kirk is a sly dog. I tell you what. Run it back, last man standing. No, 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 no. I know that because now we have to keep the realism of it, right? Like, we will have a big run. It. We will run it back. We will run it back on the next episode, but I think I think just as a courtesy to prove to everyone in the SSU that Jakai should do a submission match. 
I do. I honestly think that Jakai should do a submission match just because the Lord asked for a submission match. Management stepped in as we thought it would be a better match to put it to rest, right? Who cares if you guys say submit? Anyone can tap out, right? What if you beat that man past submission? That reference will be fired. What if you beat that man past submission, right? What if you beat him so bad that he can't stand up and the referee has nothing to do but count to 10 and end the fight? And I honestly think the Lord is right, not from a not from a Jay Savage perspective, because if if I were to go in Jay Savage mode right now, I'd be like, you guys all suck. You guys cheated out the Lord. Clearly, Jakai and the Lord went out drinking last night and you spiked this drink, period. I think Jakai spiked his drink, pulled an uh, uh, Ip Man, pulled the Ip Man, poisoned this man's drink, poisoned his beer. OK, and he was seeing double, seeing triple in the ring tonight. He, he it was like he was it was like we were watching a totally it was like watching a blind person fight. It was like watching Stinkmeaner get killed. And I tell you what, Stinkmeaner's revenge, that's the Lord coming back for Jakai. But of course, the Lord is a good guy. So I'm sure he'll accept it. He'll look for the fans' approval and be like, hey, he got the best of me. But let's be real. It was a last man standing match. I was still standing. So Jakai is the new solo season universal champion. Next, let the war begin. He's made his decrees. I saw Jockey win. As a fan, I saw and now now let me back off of the okay, so let me also back off and be let me back off and be realistic. Let me back off and be realistic about just the whole match. Lord got his ass kicked. Lord got his ass kicked the entire match. The entire match. It was so one sided. It was so one sided. But at the end, it as I'm watching, I'm like, wait, he had more? So what's worse than a last man standing match? You know what I mean? Like, it, I don't know. A casket match? I mean, is it literally going to be a casket match where they're going to have? That's the next step, right? The next step is a casket match, I think. So I think Jakai and Lord are going to be fighting into the next um, pay-per-view. They're going to be having a rematch. I guarantee you that. I almost think management needs to make it happen. Hello, Park. Casket match, guaranteed, bro. Casket match, Jakai, Lord British, SSU champion, yes. next pay per view, right? So we've got that has to happen. And the next pay per view is payback. Oh my God, that's that's that is so serendipitous. That is so awesome and serendipitous. So the champion, Jakai, the interplanetary champion, Jakai, and solo season universal champion will be enjoying a full month of being double champion until payback when he has to put the belt on the line. But let's not forget this entire week of August to September, Killshot still has his briefcase. And who he chooses to go after is clearly either going to be Jakai or the UFO title holder, for hell in the cell. Ebola. But Killshot and Ebola have been known to like each other, so I don't think Ebola and Killshot will attack each other. So, Jakai, I would watch your back, brother. Regardless of what people say, everyone wants to hold the title. And if you think that someone smiling in your face isn't also laughing behind your back, well, you probably got some good friends around you then. It's only gonna be for me, lol. Got no say. We got the titles. It's a beautiful thing, guys. Again, Jakai won that match, no doubt about it. Was there some foul play? Maybe. I don't know. It was barely sweet. Finally got our feud. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. And see, that's it. This is it, guys. See, Jakai gets it now. JB Famous gets it now. This is the moment of truth where all of the fans are rooting for the Wolf Pack. But let's be real. The crowd was booing at the end of that match. Because the Lord was still standing on his feet. This isn't over. Casket match. Jakai versus the Lord at payback. Interplanetary title. I don't know. That 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 yeah. thing. He's got he's gonna have to put that on the line at a different time. I mean, maybe somewhere midway he can, you know, set up a tournament or something, or maybe Jakai, you have one match. Right between here and then, 
and it's for the interplanetary. Do you want to put both titles on the line? I don't know. But that's the storyline we're going to have to build here from August to September. Jakai, Lord, what's going to happen? But let's also not overlook this right here. Vipiro, one of the best moments of the universe. Set a whole trend for double kicks, double fu- Bro, what's up? What's up? Great match. Great match, by the way, for uh, Ebola Zaire Gaming, who came in with the one winged angel twice. Back to back winning. Boom. Scooped them, slammed them. What's up? Scooped them, slammed them. It was over. Emily Love got put away by a better character, a more efficient character, a more correctly made character. Shout out to Victoria. The ladies, Triple Crown Champion, and the Wolfpack getting a major boost. Wolfpack claiming most of the titles right now. One title. Unclaimed by the Wolfpack, UFO. Six-star battle, of course, my son is going to be earning some money, so good for him. This was a banger. This was a banger. Weapon X J Savage was a banger. Just the same way that it took two winged angels to put away his opponent's Instead of putting away two people, Weapon X had to use both of his finishers on Jay Savage. Amazing. Tag team titles still go. I mean, Dubs and Sean are still the tag team title holders because they won by disqualification. Deuce and Kirk did one by. It's just, just, they blew it. Shakai, the new champion. Let's be real, bro. Let's be real. Let's be real. RPG style character progression, fantasy sports style betting in the most electrifying four corners known to mankind. Pro wrestling. Hope you guys had a good time. I know I did. Upload your CAW. Get involved. And uh, thank you again to Super Animal for getting involved as just a fan. 20 points. 20 points to the Wolf Pack. All in all. Just for bringing in fans. That's a serious big, big boost, man. Big boost to the Wolf Pack. And it shows. Let's points matter and so do you i love you guys if no one's ever said that to you today just know that i will because i mean it we're all getting together putting in our efforts like we're trying to build a pyramid um this is i think wrestling is the medium for everyone to fall in love with something and it's like basketball or something you know sometimes people can't really get involved in basketball Oh, blah, blah, blah. but wrestling everyone can understand hand-to-hand combat and the feeling of it and i think tonight we got that feeling Respect. in the best way. Triple threat match. Extreme rules. Absolutely crazy. We saw the best of the best. The ladies match basically showed if your CAW isn't created correctly, you'll get exposed. Just because you're a six foot four behemoth doesn't mean you're going to win anything against a five nine piece of perfection. Victoria, the ladies triple crown champion. This was just crazy. I don't know how Oliver Savage survived that last like three minutes, but he did. And that's why I love this game because God, I I just love the moments of truth. I I think I should have won. I think I should have won, you know, but he did run right into a second um, burning hammer. So Uh, this is the greatest thing ever. Deuce and Kirk proved that they can beat them, but they didn't beat them properly to win the titles. So. Man, I'm so disappointed about that for the Wolfpack. So, actually, I forgot they don't have the titles. So, yeah, so they have one, two, three titles, and two titles are still left up for grabs. Um, But the Wolfpack is raining really high right now. This is crazy. This was insane. Well, we're going to work on Lord Arthur's character. Something's wrong with his character. Um, See you guys next time, man, on the SSU. Stay seasoned, guys. Peace. Oh, my God, dude. Ugh, my balls. I might bring in. Hold on. You know what? Actually, hold on. Let me get the. I wonder if the Lord or anybody is on right now. I might bring them in. Jakai's on. Uh oh. I might bring Jakai on. Hold on. I want to hear, oh my God, hearing Jakai talk. Oh, this is going to be retarded. <laughs> I can't even say that word. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see if Jakai comes in. We'll, we'll see what Jakai has to say. Oh, that was such a fast response. He's sitting there waiting. He was like, I should have jumped in this. What's going on? The SSU champion for the first time ever. 
It's a long time coming. So what you're saying is, is you always knew it. His speed gives me fits. He always knew it. See, you got to think, though. A lot of people don't get it. And that's what I have to understand. And people, other people, not everyone gets the title. Some of the best of the best of the best have never touched the SSU title. I was first ha ha ha. Yeah, I mean, we can tell the journey. You had Weapon X, right? You had Weapon X. You were the most boosted man. Management stepped in. You know, it was crazy. You lost back then. You gained a friend in Weapon X along the way. So that's 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 crazy. Uh, friends become rivals. Rivals become enemies. Enemies become friends. And then I was putting it on him. I was putting it on him, man. I'm telling you, bro. It's a crazy moment tonight. I'm happy for you. I guess the thing is, do you? Yeah. Yeah, we have to put it to rest. Literally. Uh, with the way, see this again, let's just break KFAB. Let's just break KFAB and talk about why the universe is so great. You have a moment where real wrestling is scripted. They already know who's going to win. We just know we watched it. I know. Don't act like you didn't fucking put your head down and be like, damn, he's rated 99. He's rated 100. You put your head down and you were like, this is going to go south. Yo, yo, the man found religion when he saw Lord British at 100. Who's the real Lord now? So the funny thing is, that's what I tell people. Yeah, I know. It's yeah, it's about. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. No, that's a beautiful sentiment. It does. The algorithm is to put you in a position to beat people you're supposed to. But once we get to this point, when your character is above 85, 80, once you get above that, you, you got a chance, bro. But again, we've also seen Killshot lose. He was 96 and lost to a 69. So it's really, it is a better chance, of course, <laughs> if you're a 99 fighting someone better or worse but that that is just goes to show you jakai had the momentum jakai had the had the gods behind him you know who knows how they want to say it if you pull this off yeah that you're gonna be champion that's what if uh, if you pull this off you'll be ssu champion for the first time we all knew it was coming because your brother touched it if kurt can get it we knew jakai could get it there's so much drama that's now being kind of there was like a lot of fog there was a lot of fog but now i think everything's being cleared up and uh now that yeah Yeah. He definitely had you were like so like we see a lot of trouble with Ken Shaw, Andrew Dubs, how they step on each other's feet sometimes. A lot of people uh don't know how to to step back and let someone else take the reins on it and you definitely did and that's why it was nice to see your brother do a lot of things in the comments that not just the discord but in the youtube comments he would come in after the lives and light people up and i'm like oh no one's responding <laughs> like i'm like i'm like oh god okay well you know we're just gonna let that one rock or like what's going on here anyway no kirk deserved it because of his treachery and the way that he went about it right it was a very good way to get the belt very quickly. But with Killshot 
with Kirk, with Jay Savage, with everything else that was going on, this is different. You solidified yourself as the interplanetary title. Your entire plan is getting a boost. Solidified yourself as the wolf pack brought your brother back and beat the Lord. So... <laughs> UFO now let now let's look at it. You had you did what every I think this is the traditional it. You hit you got the UFO title and you made it something, right? Six man elimination chamber match. It's crazy. You made it fucking famous. You made the title famous. Then you moved on to the interplanetary title. This is how they act when they win the belt. Absolutely. I would I'd be I'd be everywhere right now talking, telling everyone I won the title. I'd be shining it with all the Cody Road tears. No, <laughs> the Cody tears would be shining the belt. Well, I'm telling you, man, it's a beautiful storyline. And if people just stick around, and there was drama in between it too, like you know, you you have the Cody Road storyline where you literally took the UFO title. Tag team titles, interplanetary. Like, you built your way up. You built your way up. You made other companies good and then came back. And I hope, you know, Cody Rhodes beats fucking Roman Reigns. But, you know. Dude, if I swear to you right now, I will delete your game. If Cody loses... Cause you already know I did. I didn't even get the pre-release. I didn't even get the pre-order because I didn't want Bianca or them on the cover. I wanted the hard copy version with Cody on the cover. I'm a big Cody crybaby, so I swear to you, I admit it. I'll admit it. There's no better storyline than that right now, man. For Cody to complete that story would just it would be finally wrestling's back, and it's not just Vince or the boys shoving down our throats what they want to shove down our throats. No one likes that. No one likes that. I hope I I hope Seth Rollins shoots on the rock and has a switchblade in his pocket. In his furry little boot, he's gonna pull out a a, a furry little knife. Well, no doubt. I mean, yeah. I mean, they're gonna they're gonna all cheat. I mean, every one of them is gonna cheat. No, 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 no. He's going to win, but he's going to lose. No, I think it's the opposite. I think he's gonna lose, but he's gonna win. No, he's going to lose. I mean, no, no. He's gonna win. Damian Priest is gonna cash in and become the new champion. Oh, slippery. No, because you know what? Okay, you know what? I know he's not going to become new champion. He's going to get fucking kill shot. He's going to get hit with the kill shot and get, you know, he's going to have, because uh, he's got too much. Like, so that's the reason why kill shot waited for so long. And I can understand why Dom, like the intersections between the storylines are insane because how long has dude had the briefcase you know what i mean and like tease the cash in and anyway when when he cashes in i promise you he's gonna get sick you know if he doesn't he can't carry the company he can't no one is checking for damian priest over cody no one's checking for damian priest over roman reigns the company would never put him forward that'd be like me right now sticking uh let me see. No, that was amazing. First off, that was two months of storytelling that you guys bit down on hard, right? You guys are all in the comments. I hate, I hate Smiley, and I'm like, yeah, sweet, sweet fucking build up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is again why we do what we do because I love real. Ra- you know how like we're debating storyline right now. Back in the day, we wouldn't debate. We wouldn't have to debate. We know what would happen. We know what would happen because that's what we want to see. The fans should control what we see, right? I just feel that way. Honestly, that's why you guys control the comment section. So if I, if the fans want to see Cody win, right? Like, 
and he's done everything right. Do you know how if Cody wins, do you know how many AEW fans are gonna be just oh oh they're gonna have to go to fucking WWE now because the guy who started your company is now the champion at the other place. You're gonna have to go over there and look and see what's going on. Love you, big girl. You want to say hi to everybody? They say, mm, da, da. Tell them, say, da, da. No, don't grab the mic. No, just say, da, da. Da, da. <laughs> oh, whatever. She's laughing. Yeah, she just got a big old smile. She's like, I have her actually laughing. She's like, I don't want to speak to anybody. She's upset. She's angry that the Lord lost. Oh. <laughs> Bro, we'll talk about it. All right, man. Cody better win. If not, we riot. My match with Jason. Oh my God! They cut you off. <laughs> they cut you off. I'm sorry. Say it again. Weapon X in the chat. Oh, yeah, absolutely. No, and that's the best thing about this. So this is, man, so like this is what I mean about the intersection between real and fake. So let's talk about it. This is the best setup we've ever seen for real wrestling or fake. So what happens? Weapon X and Jay Savage start their amazing feud and rivalry that they've always had, right? That keeps going. But what happens with this is Deuce and Kirk prove they can beat Dubs and Ken, but they didn't beat them properly, Right. So they have to wait until the next payback to get their payback where it's like we beat you guys already. And so now Andrew Dubs and Ken Shaw have time to heal up. Ken Shaw has time to heal up. Andrew Dubs and the Northern Impact have time to get together and like figure it out, get more points and build until the, the payback. And maybe they they win. Yeah. Yeah, and I will if, if it becomes too convoluted. If someone else jumps in there, which I have a feeling somebody might, um, but there's somebody in the comment section today was saying that they're uploading two new characters for the tag team section, so we might have a dedicated tag team uh, CAW. So congratulations to Kirk and Deuce for winning, but you know, congratulations, you played yourself. Andrew Dubs, Ken Shaw, still the champions. Uh, Jay Savage, of course, my dude, boy. Yo, Jay Savage with the power bombs early in the match trying to put away Weapon X. And then Weapon X fires back. Bro, that, and this is the one thing I want to say about this, okay? Now, I don't mean to pick on Andrew Dubs. I don't mean to pick on anybody. The fluidity of matches matter, right? So what could have happened in these matches, right? Depending on what animations you did. Vipiro could have did a drop kick and it would have only hit Nobu. But because of the time of drop kick he did it hit nobu andy bola and it was just crazy and then you got emily loving this oh my god this was a shit show oh my god this is a shit show emily love is so tall and it was almost funny to watch victoria though it was like it was like watching a ray mysterio fight you know what i'm saying where it's like oh you remember how they do those fake punches you know we can all see the punches coming off of the irish whip rebound you know what i'm saying it's like oh oh he's ducking under like you would have never hit him anyway because you're too too small versus too big and this is another one that just seemed good man everything again all realistic and i gotta say thank you to jakai for creating a lot of the feel of the ssu um Big moves, big cutters coming out of Jakai. You were trying to put Lord away early. Um, and also, you can't pick him up. You've only you've only got one or two moves that you can pick up that guy. You, you should struggle if you pick him up. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you do your finisher, it should be like, oh, my God, he actually picked him up and slammed him the fuck down in the whole match. You've never picked him up and slammed him. He is. He's too... He's 260 pounds. How is that? That is like four plates. All right. What are you talking about? If they're not everybody's just J Jakai. Jakai. Right now. I want to see you fucking post it. You go to the gym right now and you go squat. 
You no, not even squat. I want you to stalling suplex. Stalling suplex. I need to see it. 260 pounds stalling suplex. And then I'll upgrade your character. If you do that and don't kill yourself with a plate. You get a big man at the gym. You hear me? You get a big man at the gym and just be like, hey, come here real quick. Come here. 269. Like, 260. Oh, really? Really? You didn't have to. You didn't have to. What? You're not clever. You think you're cool. 69. <laughs> Yo, I promise you, I know. When people are in their prime, when they're on steroids, you don't tell me all about it. You're the steroid master. Oh, wow. You don't have to tell me anything about it, all right? Hey, so listen, before... Uh, yo, you changed the whole... And, you know, this is one thing I also want to say to you. Is thank you for being a man. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I, I don't mean that. Let me not say man, because you're... you're um your wives and you know mine or we all like the female can I'm, I'm trying to say this thank you for not being a twat Lol, yes i did yeah like the, like the whole time we were beefing when it came to the rew stuff and all the other extra stuff okay, you I still you held time <laughs> shut up the whole time you were still your goal was still to make virtual wrestling better through your character like you still were trying to make something happened no matter where you were it was just because two ideologies were coming to a head right where some people don't care about it as much as we do here and it's because if you run back season one through nine when bat you know when batman shows up it's because it's one of the first characters i put in here because i didn't have enough fans i didn't have enough talents i didn't have enough subscribers so i can't have just three people fighting all night so you have batman show up or you have you know uh you guys are all there you know the hooligan you know we were a different indie kind of show back then we were very in our adolescence but through well, yeah, but through and then we went through all the paces, all the steps, all the drama together. All of you guys are part of it. All of you guys are in the writing room. All of you guys are, quote unquote, management, you know, because we get in the comment section. But that's where the idea of the SSU title will piss people off because that person can change your entire storyline by simply being a dick. And then that's how it was. Like, if the NWO had the title. I can't believe the double drop kick earlier. Yeah, the double drop kick. See, exactly, bro. There's so many. And there was another one. Um, the cutter, bro. Who did that cutter? Um, yo, yo. King JD with the cutter drop kick, bro. Un Incredible. Incredible. We're going to be doing a lot of YouTube shorts. Again, guys, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we have a schedule. I'm going to try and go at 7, um, at least, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, uh, what is it called? What did they call it on Reno 911? What? BB, it was a black people time. Colored people time. That's what it was. Colored people. CPT. <laughs> Yo, Reno 911 should be banned from all TV stations. All right, guys. Love that show. Love this show. Love you. If no one said it, it's because I truly mean it. We're all getting together. It's like going to church, man. You know, church doesn't work if there's half the people aren't praying, you know, or the, the, it really doesn't work if the other person's over there talking about God loves me better and he loves me more. God said he wants me to eat all the Twinkies. God said 300 pound men can do shotgun drop kicks three times in a match. No, no, stop and not be winded. Like, guys, listen, go look at Jay. I did a perfect play sliders uh game test like i really master craft some of those matches bro when jay savage goes to do a step up in zaguri kick it falls down and he's tired and then hits the sean michaels kip up come on man come on people aren't realizing the moments we're creating like you, you people love these moments because you've seen them somewhere else and the feeling you got then you got here what's the difference that was scripted. This isn't. 
This isn't scripted. So when something amazing happens, like a, a dropkick cutter, the first time that's ever happened, that, that shit looked good. And it was a cut. Like, what the, what is going on here? When the drama happens, it's not scripted. Who, we all watched me scroll over a character that said 100 and a character that said 82. How'd you feel? It felt like Hulk Hogan going up against, no, 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 no. Like Rey Mysterio going up against Brock Lesnar. Yeah. That's how it feels. And then guess what? Rey is too fast for him. And all of a sudden, of course, he gets a hold of him, slams him down a few times. But then Rey's too fast for him. And then it ends with a 619. It's just a moment where you can't beat it because... The fights are fake, but the drama. Oh, the sweet drama. Shout out to Weapon X and Me Too. Fight of the night. Fight of the night. Like, fight of the night. It was brutal. It was awesome. It was back and forth. You didn't know who was going to win. And it ended pretty damn cool. Like, I don't care, man. My character's better than all your guys. Is he so cool? <laughs> Even when I lose, I lose so cool. Oh, I love that movie too, though. Um, the dude who had the bowling ball, bro. Yeah. Yeah, man. He had the bowling ball. Um, the girl was, oh, man. She was like an emo chick. Uh, super. She was funny in that. Why are you making me forget this? Oh, you're going to. All right. Well, everybody, uh, get in the comment section. 10 points to anybody who gets in the comment section and knows what Ben Stiller superhero movie we're talking about. Mystery man, Mr. Oh, you kidding me? Oh, you kind of that hurt. All right, we're done. Bye. <laughs>